How many of us believe that Jehovah is his name? And how many of us believe that he is a mighty warrior and he's always great in battle? If you do believe, celebrate the name of this mighty warrior with a clap of friends.
refuse the choir just ask us to join them to praise the Lord because he is good and his mercies endure forever. Yes, the mercies of God endure forever. But do you accept the mercies of God? Do the mercies work on your behalf? The Lord abounds in good and perfect gifts. The Lord knows all things. And knows all people, including you. But do you accept that the Lord knows you? Beloved in the Lord, our theme for this morning is have faith in the Lord. Have faith. Faith is trust. Faith is belief. Faith is conviction that something will happen on your behalf. The book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 1, says, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the convictions of things not seen. Somebody has promised you something. You have asked somebody for something. And he says, give me three days. Give me one week. Give me one month. And I will do it for you. You have not gotten it yet. But you know the track record of the person. You know that he is trustworthy. And so you have all assurance that in a week, in a month, you are going to receive it. That is faith. Our theme says, have faith in the Lord. That presupposes that you can have faith in other things. And yes, a wife can trust her husband. And the husband trusts his wife. Children trust their parents. And some parents trust some of their children. Some church members trust in the armbands given them by their ministers. What do you also believe in? As a church, we believe in the triune God who has revealed himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you have faith in this God? Do you have faith in this ancient God who is still the God of our time? Some people have faith in the occult because for them, God takes too long to work. Are you patient enough to put your trust in this God that we are talking about. People have faith in different things. Oh yes, if you had not trusted that your car would be able to bring you to this compound, you wouldn't have sat in it and come to church. You are relaxed in that chair because you trust the chair, the chair is going to support you throughout the service. Faith can be in anything and anybody. But our theme is saying, have faith in the Lord. Have faith in the Lord because he is our Lord and our God. He is the one who created us and we are his. He cares for us and he directs our activities. It is good to have faith in the Lord because without faith 
it is impossible to receive anything from the Lord. The Bible says, let anyone who comes to God believe that he exists. And he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Oftentimes when we come to church and we are praying, you hear people saying, God, give me faith. The other time, the apostle said, Lord, increase our faith. How do we receive faith from the Lord? How do we get our faith increased? Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. So if you want to have faith in the Lord, then you must hear the message of Christ, who is our Lord. Hear the message of Christ. Read the message of Christ. Two, give a mental assent to what you have heard. You don't just hear the word, but you also give a mental assent to the word. You ponder over the, the word. You meditate on the word. You think about the word that you have heard. Allow the word to speak to you. And how do people know that you have faith in the Lord? How do you show that you have faith in the Lord? The third I want to add is take action on your conviction. After agreeing that the word you have heard will work for you, after accepting that the word you have meditated on will work for you, take an action on it. It is only your action that will demonstrate that really you have believed what you have heard. Oh yes, when we come to church, we hear a lot of things. We hear a lot of things. We ponder over a lot of things, but do we really act on them? Do we use them? Do we accept them? Do you have faith in the Lord? Why do you need faith? You need faith because without it, you cannot receive from the Lord. Without it, you cannot receive from anybody. Have faith in the Lord. Hear the word, ponder over the word, and act on the word. Then people will see you as having faith in the word of God. For some people, the word of God is too difficult to work on, to accept. What about you? For some people, the word of God is foolishness. And the Bible says the word of God is foolishness to those who will perish. But for those of us who receive eternal life, it is the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. If you want to benefit on the word of God, then ponder over it. Believe it to be true and trust that it can work on your behalf and take an action on the word. James says, faith without works is dead. He continues to say, show me your faith and I will show you 
my works. Do you believe in the word of God? Do you accept the word of God? When do we need faith? We need faith every time, any time. Because without faith, you cannot show that you are a Christian. The Bible talks about spiritual gifts that God has given to us. The Bible talks about other promises that God has given to us. How do you get them? You get them by accepting them that it is God who has promised and so he is going to work on your behalf. And you start working. Hallelujah. You start working. Otherwise, you will not do anything for the Lord. Faith is a key that unlocks the treasure of God that is stocked with answered prayers. Faith is the channel that carries the presence and power of God to the midst of his people. Faith is a future slapper. It is our faith that takes us into the realms of God. We are what we are because God has granted us his grace to be here. Hallelujah. You cannot say you have faith in the Lord when there is no evidence of sincere devotion to him and his word. If you confess that Jesus is your savior, then you must also obey him as your Lord. Loving obedience is an essential aspect of true faith. Hallelujah. When God called Joshua, he told him, if you want to succeed, then this word of the law should not depart from you. Meditate on it day and night. Then you will be prosperous. Then you will be successful. My dear brother, my dear sister, if you want to be successful in the Lord, if you want to be successful on this earth, then trust in God. Trust that he is able to do more than we can think of or ask for. Faith is the Christian's shield. It is that which protects us from our enemies. Our trust in God is that which protects us. Because our world is full of things we see and things we do not see. But with our trust in the Lord, we are able to move ahead. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. David was able to face Goliath because he believed in the God who has called him and has told him, I am your shepherd. I will supply all your needs. So when David was going to Goliath, he told himself, the Lord is my shepherd. And so even if I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear anything. This man coming before me because I am behind the Lord. He is like a balloon before a small pin. Amen. I don't know if you trust the Lord so much like David. The Bible talks about childlike faith. Children believe their appearance. Children know their parents are the best 
they have everything in the world. And so when they ask and you tell them, be patient, you will have it soon, they relax. That is the faith we are to have in the God who has called us because he is able and he is willing. If only we will be patient and wait for his timing. My dear brothers and sisters, in the economy of God, time is very, very important. And so this morning, I want to assure you that God has not forgotten you. It is not the case that he has not heard your prayer. He has heard your prayer. And in his own time, he will work on your behalf. Have patience. Persevere. Press on. And yours will by all means come. I pray that you'll be patient enough to wait for the Lord. Put all your trust in him. Take him by his word. And in his time, you will see his hand moving. May the Lord guide and support you. May the Lord who abounds in good and perfect gifts supply your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? We thank you, Lord, our God, for your word which has come to us. The entry of your word brings direction. The entry of your word brings freedom. The entry of your word brings assurance to us. Lord, I pray that even as we go through the activities of this week, we will continue to put our trust in you so that when we have received bounties from you, we will tell others that you are our Lord and our God. Amen.